concentrating on the existential dread of horror movies released in the last 10 years, intense, slow-burning, highly strong movies are making their mark on the industry in a big way, with unbearable tension becoming the latest in replacing the good old reliable jump scare. Sorry guys, spooky monsters and CGI baddies just don't cut it anymore. We're all about unrelenting anxiety now. Millennials, huh? Well, luckily for you guys, I've collected some of the best creepy crawly movies that make you stare into the void. So get your fire extinguisher ready as I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are 12 intense, slow burn horror movies that keep you guessing. 12. Kill List Ben Wheatley's enigmatic horror movie is a weird one to say the least. Definitely a film of two halves, or rather, a film of two thirds and a batch final act. Kill List is the story of two hitmen who decide to get back to work after a botched job sets them back for the better part of a year. To say any more would be to spoil the gory magic. It's the sort of story that will slowly but surely suck you in, drawing you closer to the screen with each unexplained comment and disconnected sound in an attempt to piece it all together. Fair warning, it's more a case of just accepting what you're given and speculating on it, but Kill List's unique approach to horror and what the frick frack ending definitely fit into the keep you guessing bill. Go and check your mirrors and stay away from the woods. 11. Manding Coming as Nicolas Cage's phantasmagoric journey into all things neon and drenched in blood, Mandy begins as a slow meander through a couple's perfect forest existence, before descending into a colourful depiction of hell. When Red and Mandy's secluded retreat is torn apart by a hippie cult and their demon bikers, Red will stop at nothing for vengeance. And what vengeance it is. Mandy Reads is an artistic horror movie, measured and quiet before exploding into a visual smorgasbord of colour and intensity. Honestly, it's not a film for everyone, but that works just fine for what Mandy is. If you like the neon demon or just really flashy movies that are pretty to look at, this will be entirely up your street. 10. The Wicker Man to first pay homage to one of the big daddies of quite literal slow burn horror before breaking into the contemporary stuff, The Wicker Man has to make an appearance on this list. Now, I don't mean the infamous Nicolas Cage version, which you should definitely watch for a bunch of other, less scary reasons, but Robin Hardy's 1973 original. Hardy's version is a solid, upstanding entry and will have you desperately working alongside the detective to get to the bottom of the whole very creepy situation. A missing child that apparently doesn't exist, a load of scary religious paraphernalia, and more weird animal masks than a furry special time wardrobe combined to make something entirely terrifying as the story plays out. And thankfully, not a bee in sight. 9. Let the Right One In Based on the book of the same name, Let the Right One In is the bloody yet disturbingly charming story of young boy Oscar that befriends his mysterious new neighbour Ellie, only to find out she's a vampire. Women, huh? Whilst the two form a fierce bond, a string of murders plagues their local town, resulting from Ellie's very similar affliction to myself in that she has an insatiable need to feed. This Swedish horror film is a masterclass in blending genres, taking a naturally horrifying template and imbuing it with elements of romance, thriller and drama to create something both unpredictable and eerily compelling. It's a tale of two misfit souls finding comfort in one another's company at its very core. Aww. 8. The Invitation Meeting up with your ex doesn't ever really sound like a very good time, never mind when they've mysteriously disappeared off the face of the earth for years on end and appear out of nowhere asking you over. Listen to Dua Lipa and leave that sh** behind, guys. Of course, the invitation goes out of its way to prove its point, and our protagonist can't resist revisiting the past. Fraught with tension and leaving you guessing with each strange turn of events, the invitation functions as the perfect exercise in psychological horror, jangling nerves like a stripper's coin purse and keeping you invested with each turn of events that gets darker and stranger with the film's runtime. Come dine with me, we'll never be the same again. 7. It Comes at Night Situating itself particularly high on the spectrum of what the heck is going on here, It Comes at Night aims to keep you guessing at what's coming next with each heart-pounding twist in its story, creating an atmosphere that you can practically taste through the screen. Don't actually try to do that though, stuff tastes like sparkling water and nobody wants that in their lives. Set in a secluded household away from general civilization, a family has created countermeasures for a strange apocalypse that has decimated humanity, leaving few survivors left. 
When another family comes seeking safety in the home, the two groups form an uneasy alliance and learn that what lurks outside might not be half as scary as what comes from within. While some aren't happy with the payoff reveal of the film, it's at least entirely worth the creeping journey to get there. 6. Get Out Jordan Peele's tight exploration of racism through a horror movie lens is not only expertly written, but expertly executed as well. Offering up something unpredictable to a modern audience by covering topics often shied away from, Get Out slowly pulls apart our expectations as well as its subverted narrative, dropping creepy hints that something isn't quite right before unleashing a whole mess of crap at the end. Coupled with some fantastic visuals for the sunken place and a science fiction twist that reveals a very human horror, and the film marks itself as one of the best examples of slow burn, unguessable horror in recent memory. 5. The Killing of a Sacred Deer Bringing together psychological horror and art house direction, Yorgos Lanthimos has brewed up a heady concoction of elements that make The Killing of a Sacred Deer an intense ride from start to finish. Undeniably a movie situated firmly in the Greek director's portfolio, the film is actually based on that ancient Greek play Iphigenia at Ulis by Euripides. I don't know how to pronounce that, though updated to suit a modern audience. It's a mediation on the human condition, horrific in the way it presents a realistic situation pushed to its very brink, as you can never really know who someone is or what they're capable of after all. Filmed in an emotionally vacant, sterile fashion, The Killing of a Sacred Deer is a stylistically distant movie, but one that creeps up on you as the runtime plays out. 4. The Babadook Boy, when the Babadook gets going, it really gets going, but it deliberately takes its time to bloom from a tiny spark into a raging inferno, and then burns your house down. Sorry, just the way it is. Building up through the fairy tale exposition of a bedtime children's story, The Babadook is nothing more than a pop-up book until strange, unexplained terrors start manifesting around the Vanek household. With not much other than rhyming couplets to figure out what is hounding the mother and son, and an alarmingly creepy soundscape permeating through the film, the eking out of the Babadook story is as terrifying as the creature itself, as we crawl through a narrative that can only end in terrifying confrontation. Much like me with the woman that steals my bin at the end of my road. 3. It Follows Portraying its title as accurately as possible, there's an it, and it follows. That's about all we get to know about this unstoppable force of nature that furiously walks after anyone unlucky enough to befall its curse, killing them horrifically upon catching them. You also can't see it unless you've contracted its attention with a good dose of horizontal dancing with an infected person, which makes for some weird death scenes for those who abstain from hiding the sausage in the name of saving themselves from invisible demon attackers or are just nerds. With a constant presence pursuing the characters and a completely anonymous aura surrounding it, there's little that can be done besides ride out the experience with the victims on screen, building intention as slowly and deliberately as the walking entity, before exploding into a electrifying final act. 2. Hereditary The payoff with Hereditary is a bizarre one, culminating in a late third act reveal that uses its tightly wound setup as a springboard to leap off of into the truly weird and wonderful, but never loses its creepy edge for the duration. Hereditary is a film that rewards those who pay close attention, offering sneaky insights into what could potentially be happening to the family with each progression of their story. For the most part, however, Hereditary remains clouded in mystery, disguised with fraught desperation to try and uncover the truth that lies hidden in plain sight. Disturbing sound work, creepy visuals, and an ominous sense of foreboding serve to make the film one that will decidedly rattle your nerves before shattering them completely by the end of the film. A head spinner if there ever was one. Ah! 1. The Witch Robert Eggers' tale of a witch in the woods is nightmare fuel to say the least. Functioning entirely on crackling nervous energy and tension so thick you could spread it on your sandwich, it's a long, slow march through a family's living hell, fearing that a witch lurks near their home when their youngest son goes missing near the tree line. While some might not click with ye olde English dialect straight away, this New England folktale is well worth sticking with for its visuals alone. With towering trees, isolated farmland, and the constant reminder that something sinister is working its claws into both the family's bodies and minds, it's an exercise in tension that you won't soon forget. You won't be able to look a goat in the eye again either. I don't know if that's something you do often, but still, 